will be happy to help. Well, if you've experienced a similar food fib, then do get in touch. Email us at watchdog at bbc.co.uk or go to our website. Now, back to our puppy dealers. John Wilcock and Bernadette Nunny are selling puppies, bringing them plenty of money, but also bringing misery to the dogs and the families who buy them. And that just won't do. We're on our way to confront John Wilcock and Bernadette Nunny, but we're not the only ones on their tail. Just five days before we arrive, we discover the RSPCA have raided the farm. They rescued over 40 dogs, of which a number were already dead, and one was found dying in a wheelbarrow. We hope there are no more dogs. We hope they're now safely in the hands of the RSPCA, but we hope there are people people that we want to talk to, ask some questions of. We park up outside and we're ready. The timing's just right. Hello there. Because that's John Wilcock in the courtyard. John, Matt Allwright from BBC Rogue Traders. How are you? What I'd like to ask you is how can you own a dog yourself and yet still sell dogs in the condition that we bought Gizmo, our dog. How can you do that? How can you how can you own dogs yourself? How can you own dogs yourself and still keep that many? Call them, please, call them here anytime you like. How can you sell dogs in that condition to people who take them home and within days they die, John? How can that be? Tell me, tell me how you can do that yeah, consciously. Right. Can you give me an explanation? Because there are dog owners across the country who want to understand it as well. This is Matt Allwright from right. BBC Road Traders asking you how you, in front of a nation full of dog lovers, can behave the way you do. You got an answer for me? Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know. Yes. Bernadette, can you tell me how you can have dogs around the farm and yet pull them out of a place around the back and then... Right, let's go and see what we can find around the back. Bring the police. Listen, guys, we'll be more than happy for you to bring the police. Bring anybody that... Yeah, because we're off now. There's Bernadette in the corner there. So this was the operation. This was where you'd call to come and pick up your dog that you thought had been raised in a family home, but in fact was in a crate out the back or a yard in the back, and they were being kept, we think, 40 dogs at least. When the RSPCA came in here, they found dead dogs out the back. That's right, isn't it? That's right, isn't it, John? Dead dogs. Dogs that were being so poorly kept, you couldn't even keep them alive. You couldn't feed them properly. You couldn't keep them free from disease. I'm right, aren't I? John? Bernadette? OK. Right, well, while they're there, we can go and have a poke round the back and see what we can find. We head to where we think the dogs were being kept so we can see the conditions Gizmo was living in. But John Wilcock doesn't want us anywhere near there. Sorry, John, you want us away from the farm? OK, no, so tell me, now you're out, John. Now that we're leaving, John, tell me, how can you keep dogs in the conditions that we've seen them in and then hand them out to people and then hand them out? What are you doing with that? What are you doing with that? You're going to jet watch us. We're making for the exit, but John makes sure we're not leaving dry. There's nothing dirty about us. There's nothing dirty about us, John. You're the one that needs cleaning up. It's only water, John, for Christ's sake. You need to clean... You're the one that needs to clean up your act, mate. Things quickly take a more serious turn when a woman picks up a brick and throws it at our cameraman. No! It bounces off the back of his camera and hits his neck. OK, time to go, time to go. We make a fast exit. You all right, mate? OK, close the door, please. Sit down, on everyone. Oh, hit you, Jamie. A rock. We call the police. <laughs> so, as you can see, that's the welcome that we got. John Wilcock turned a uh, pressure washer on us. A woman we believe to be the landowner threw a brick, hit our cameraman. OK, time to go, time to go. We need to get Jamie properly looked at all, wasn't it? <laughs> but as we try to drive away, the exit road is being blocked by a van and two of John Wilcock's friends. Luckily, the police are close by. They quickly deal with the passenger who's starting towards us. 
finally we set off, but even then the van still follows us. He's now following us as we try and leave this place. I don't know what's going to happen. He's by himself. He's got a, a white transit van. Eventually, he works that out and drives off. God forbid you ever go to that place. God forbid you ever come across those people it's searching for some kind of joy from a little doggy. Be very, very careful, please, guys, when you're responding to adverts for puppies. Because you just don't know where you're going. You don't know who you're dealing with unless you ask some really good questions and make sure you get the right answers. That is what you're funding, unless you're doing your homework when you buy a dog. Please, I ask you, please don't do it. As we reported, when the RSPCA raided the place, they did sadly find some dead and dying animals. But have a look at this. Over 30 puppies now safe and well at one of their centres. We took them along some toys, the first they'd ever had. But it doesn't end there. We know there are other dishonest puppy dealers in the country, and we know that you might know where some of them are. Get in touch, let us know. We also want to know how to solve the problem once and for all. Any suggestions, very welcome. But for now, these are the faces you need to remember. John Wilcock and Bernadette Nunny, our first rogues on the wall. Dogs everywhere, lift your legs in salute. Brilliant stuff, Matt. Loads of you getting in touch. Thank you very much. Maria Fowler on the car seat story. Parents, please check your car seats. I can't believe how badly they've been fitted. A tweet here from Ahim Bapa. I'm glad I watched tonight. As a soon-to-be dad, I'll be fitting my child's seat. Well, keep sending us your stories and your tip-offs. Just go to our website and click where it says send your story. <coughs> you can write to us as well. The address is on your screens now. Next week, Animal Friends Pet Insurance. Lots of friendly faces on their website. Not so friendly when it comes to paying out. Sky TV, easy to sign up, almost impossible to leave. Why can't they take no for an answer? And do you want to know the best way to get yourself off cold calling? We'll tell you now. That's all next Thursday at 8 o'clock. Until then, goodbye.